guess that that's the point Can you medicate, make your tragedies a work of art? Oh my god, this is our best song yet! I gotta fix this lighting. What's up? My name is Sawyer, this is my YouTube channel, and hi! So, I know this is a little bit different. I kind of in a different spot in my room. Again, I painted a video a while back and did a q and It wasn't that long ago, but I decided I wanted to do it again because I'm feeling pretty inspired by Miss Hannah, and yeah. So, I know this is a little bit different of a camera angle. It doesn't look professional at all, but I tried, you're actually sitting on a candle, and my ring light is sitting in a chair. Yeah. <laughs> but, we're gonna try. So, like last time, I asked you guys to send me questions for this video that I could answer in between clips of me painting, because nobody wants to just sit here and watch me paint forever, because I make a weird painting face. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, well, if you watched the last video, you did, but yeah. So, if you haven't go see my last video where I painted the stars in the night sky and there was like tree silhouettes and stuff i'll put it in the description below but it's also right there if you want to go check it out so yeah <sighs> can you medicate your broken heart also <clears throat> i've been teasing you guys with new intros coming soon and with the new intro of course we gotta have a new mashup by my homie adam who i also discovered from gabby which is really cool speaking of gabby one of gabby's songs will be in the new mashup it's pretty obvious which one, but yeah. So there's your one song. There's four. There's I, I just told you one of them. There's four. Those of you who are guessing, try to see what song is in the matchup. You can keep guessing. Now you have the one hint. That's the one hint that I give you. Speaking of, I just reacted to Medicaid and I showed Gabby in the video that I used her as my senior quote and she put me on her Snapchat story and that was really cool. So thank you, Gabby. That was really awesome. My mom cried when I showed her. You're so, so sweet and <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be an Avenger or Guardians of the Galaxy? Well, I mean, technically, Guardians of the Galaxy is, like, meshed in with the Avengers now. I know Marvel fans don't kill me. I know they're not officially Avengers, but they're in the Infinity War, which is titled Avengers. So that's what I mean by that. Don't don't kill me. Um, probably an Avenger, though, even though Guardians of the Galaxy is pretty cool. What's your biggest pet peeve? Hearing the same sound over and over? <sighs> that drives me crazy. Who's your favorite artist and why? My top two right now are probably Why Don't We and Gabby Hanna just because like they're both just like killing it right now and I've always loved them both as soon as I found out about them. And I actually kind of found out about them around the same time a little bit. Um, I found out about Daniel CV when he was on American Idol and, and that was in 2015. And I also discovered Gabby Hanna in 2014. So that's pretty cool that I found out about them around the same time. I do have so many more artists though. And if you want to check out any of those songs, I can't be too specific because I don't want to give the intro mashup away. But the songs that I'm loving right now are in my playlist below if you want to go check them out. So yeah. Favorite inspirational quote? Favorite inspirational quote? Probably, probably Daniel CV. Okay, I have two. So one of them is Daniel CV. And it's like, hold on. Yeah, I found it. And um, it's work hard in silence and let your success be your noise. That's uh, Daniel CV said that. It's also in a magazine somewhere. And then also, also this poem from Gabby Hanna's book. Don't worry about who you should be. You don't need to be ashamed. You're perfect in the way that no one's perfect. It's okay to not be okay. And that's a poem from Gabby Hanna. So those are probably my two uh, inspirational quotes that I like. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Honestly, I would love to go to California, and that seems really basic. I love Atlanta. I've never left the country before, so that'd be pretty cool to go to different places in the world. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any specifics, but I do want to travel around the world and see different places. What else do you do in your free time? Well, listen to music and dance like an idiot in my yard <laughs> and hope nobody watches. <laughs> Are you ever gonna go on tour? I hope you have a meet and greet in London. So, so many of you guys keep asking me if I'm ever gonna go on tour, and the truth is, I want to, but, ow! 
I'm not big enough yet. But I really do hope to one day. It'd be really cool to be able to meet you guys that I haven't met before in my little area. Because I go to like Dallas and Atlanta and Tampa slash Orlando all the time and I meet you guys there. But I want to expand that and meet you guys that's other places because that's really cool. I don't have any plans to go on tour yet, but I really would love to um, because I want to come meet you guys. But I promise you, as soon as I hear anything, I will be dropping hints and letting you guys know. If you went on tour, what would you call it? I have no idea. Probably something punny with my last name. If you could collab with anyone, who would it be? I feel like a lot of my answers are going to be like the same people, but obviously Gabby Hanna, why don't we? YouTube-wise... There's a few collabs I have hopefully coming in uh, a few weeks when I go to playlist because I'm talking to some people, but I don't know for sure. Um, I do want to collab with Dante one day. That'd be really cool too. Not a question, but I'm proud of you and I love you all. Ellie, thank you. I love you too. Favorite fruit? Probably blueberries just because, I mean, I don't really think many people like blueberries that much, but I love them. Best advice is to be yourself and don't let negative opinions affect you. I know it's hard because negative opinions affect me like every day, but... Yeah, just try your best to do that and keep going and stay strong. And yeah, that's probably the best advice I could give you. Did you ever think you would become YouTube famous? Um, see, no, and I still don't because I don't. I don't consider myself famous. Um, I just, I'm just, I'm thankful for what I have, and you guys, um, somehow like me and that's really cool to me so thank you guys for being here for me and liking me and stuff it definitely makes up for it definitely overshadows the negative people because god knows there's a lot of those um but yeah so what made you want to become a youtuber and it's really cool that uh you guys consider me a youtuber i mean obviously anybody can be a youtuber but when i was younger i was like oh my god i love youtubers i want to i want to be one and then I just sat down with a camera one day and I, I, I went for it. Honestly, watching other YouTubers really inspired me and I like it. I like the feel of it when I get to click publish and watch all you guys like comment and just tell me what you liked about the video and stuff. And I love, I love, I just, I just love it all. <laughs> if you could go on tour with a famous person or a band, who do you think it would be and why? I think you guys already know the answer to that. <laughs> How many pieces have you painted? I mean, technically I'm working on my second, which is this one that I'm gonna get to in just a second. It, it doesn't look right right now, but it's supposed to be Gabby as a sunflower. You'll, you'll see, you'll understand what I mean when I'm done. But honestly, other than that, it's just the other one that I painted for my last video. What was the last song you listened to? Medicate by Gabby Hanna. Yes, that's the point. Do you plan on seeing the boys anytime soon? Meeting? No. Um, as far as I know, because I wasn't able to get Lamlight or Meet and Greet or anything like that. But I do, I am going to be at their Atlanta show in April, on Daniel's birthday. What camera and editing software would you advise using as a beginner? I love you and your videos. I love you too. Um, so, I just actually got a ring light this past Christmas. It's February, but this past December. Well, actually, I think I got it in January, but it was for Christmas. Thank you, Adam. Um, and honestly, I just film on my phone and edit with iMovie. So you don't really have to have much to start. All right, so that's the ones I'm gonna answer from Twitter and I'll answer a few from Instagram when I get through painting some more. Before I get to painting, I wanna to explain to you pretty much what the concept is. Basically, Gabby used a, Gabby posted a picture promoting her new song and the caption was, this sunflower grew from the darkness. What it's gonna look like is from down here, this is like the ground and like where her roots are. Um, and the, the roots are gonna be black symbolizing the darkness. And then, so I basically turned her into a sunflower. That's why it's like a stem. It looks kind of weird, I know. Um, and there's going to be four leaves symbolizing her four songs before Medicaid. Um, because that's part of her growth from the darkness. Like writing songs and like just growing in general. Her hair is going to be yellow because she's a sunflower. And her face, I'm not going to do her facial features because I suck at that and it would just ruin it. But I might do a face of peels, kind of like the Medicaid. A cover art that'd be kind of cool um it's a weird really weird 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 concept but i'm excited to see how it turns out and yeah yo so it's been a little bit what i have so far don't look at that spot i just had i fixed it but um all right so there's the roots and it kind of turns into green from black there's song titles on there. I'll show you a better clip. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the peel face because the cover art is a peel, like smiley face. I was kind of going to see if I could do that. I tried once before and I kind of messed it up. That's why that little wet spot was because I painted over it. I could just paint white lyrics around it. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
let's answer a few more questions and then I'm gonna go see a movie with some friends and then let that dry a little bit and then come back and try to do something. What's your favorite part about being a YouTuber? I think most of my, most of the time my answer of this question is like having you guys. It's really, it's really cool. What's your least favorite thing about being a public figure slash influencer? I don't know. I guess, I guess just like the negative people out there because not everybody's gonna love you and some people feel the need to tell you their negative opinions about you and that's not that fun to deal with but what are you most proud of hmm I don't know I've been through a lot and making it through that is pretty cool graduating high school doing YouTube having you guys thank you all for being here would you ever go on Big Brother I would love to but I probably would shake it out what is your dream job probably to be doing YouTube for full time that'd be cool I don't know if that would ever happen though <laughs> How are you mentally? Pretty good. It sucks dealing with negativity from other people that have no idea who you are, to be honest. I just want to hate for no reason, but it's whatever. Favorite color? Blue. But I did just add black and purple to my uh, layouts everywhere. My YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want to go check those out, they're all just the same. It's all your night, except for YouTube. It's got a space in between it. You're watching me on here now, so everything else is that with no space. So that'll be it for now. Um, I'm, I'll come back and let you guys know what the finished product looks like if I decide to do the face or not. Okie dokie. So I finally finished it. It took me a little while because I wanted to know what would be the best way to finish it. Because I don't really do faces on my, like, the art that I do because I don't want to mess it up because it would look weird if I did faces. I'm not really good at doing specific facial features. So I decided to just put Make Your Tragedies a work of art, which is a lyric from the song over the face. And I didn't do anything else around it because I felt that it would make it too much. So here is the finished product. Hold on, let me go get it. Okay, so I'll zoom it in so you can see it. That's the lyric that I put and then it's the the leaves, which are her other songs, which are part of her growth from the dark past, grow into the sunflower that she is today. Um, and then there's the dark roots and how the dark roots changed to green as she turned into the sunflower. So this is the final product. I know it's a little bit weird, but I like the concept a lot. It has to be explained, but I, I do like it a lot. And also, um, Gabby and her music and videos mean a lot to me because I went through a pretty, pretty dark time a few years ago and Gabby is one of the YouTubers that was there for me like through her videos and stuff and she like helped me take my mind off things. And so when I got to meet her at Playlist in 2017, I got to thank her in person and she was all like, I don't know what happened or what, what was going on, but it's okay now and you're fine. And like she was hugging me, which is, which is, uh, what she was whispering in my ear whenever she like hugged me that's why i have her as my pop socket and so yeah so gabby means a lot to me i know i said that in every video i do about her but i just wanted to explain that a little bit but i love you guys so much thank you for watching if you'd like to check out my social media in the description below and also tell gabby about this video i want her to see the painting so yeah love you and bye oh keep going <laughs> Thank you.